What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we're gonna talk about how to structure your portfolio, like what kind of sections you need to have on there. Now, you might be asking, why do I need to have a portfolio? Well, you wanna have a portfolio because this is kind of the proof that you know what you're doing. This is how you walk the walk and talk the talk. Um, it's gonna greatly increase your chances of getting hired as a developer. Most people, I don't think we even call them if they don't have a portfolio. So, greatly improves your chances of getting a job if you wanna be a developer. So, first things first, uh, we wanna have the, what is up with my mouse? My mouse is like slowly losing battery today, I think. Anyway, first off, you wanna have your title. Um, so, we wanna have your name, and then what you're going for, like position wise. So I had front end developer. I've got a couple other portfolios pulled up here. Andrew's got Andrew Webb, developer. Edwin has Edwin. And then he's got this cool little animation that switches between things. Corgi expert, software, engineer. So you can have a cool animation like that, but just make sure you have like a general sense of what you're going for. I looked at one portfolio and uh, they didn't have anything like that. And with the projects, I couldn't tell whether they wanted to be like a developer, um, they whether they wanted to do something with marketing research or they wanted to be a designer because the projects were kind of all over the place. So just make sure you clearly state kind of what you're going for. Up next, we're gonna have the about me. Just kind of talk about why you got into code, why you like it, um, why you want to be a developer and kind of where you're at with code. I think it'd be way better if you did a video. I'm gonna redo my portfolio in React and have a video about me. I'll probably make it public on my channel so you guys can see it. So check the description, I might have it out by now. And you can kind of see what the About Me video should look like. But yeah, just kind of talk about your journey with Deck and why you wanna be a developer. Give the employer a little bit of, like let them see your personality a little bit. After that, uh, you wanna have your experience slash skills. Uh, make sure there's skills that are relevant to the position you're going for. So like I wanna be a front end developer, so I didn't have things like C Sharp, C. Um, I don't even know C Sharp and C, so that's another reason why they're not on there. But usually like with resumes, when we get a resume, if they've got like 20, 30 skills on there, we assume they don't know anything because most of the time people like that come in and we say, hey, build us a button in HTML. And then we just ask them to style it a little bit and then place it in different places around the page. And most of the time they can't do it if they have more than like five skills. Usually the, all the people that have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and like two or three other skills, they can do it. Um, so yeah, just kind of stick with the skills that are relevant to what you're going for. I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk about on this. Yeah, you don't have to have them lame like this. They don't have to just be HTML, JavaScript, or Ajax. You can have, like, Andrew's got the logos. That's a pretty cool way to display it when you hover over it. It says Gatsby, Styled Components, Redux, SAS. So you can have it like that. Stay away from sliders, though, because, um, like, if you have CSS 80% and you've never had a job before, that's 80% relative to what? Like being a master and knowing everything there is about CSS. If you're only, if you're 80%, you've never had a job before. No, you're not. Cause you've never had a job before. Um, you're probably like maybe 20% with CSS. And they get, again, that's like relative to what? Um, just stay away from the sliders. Nobody I've talked to thinks those are a good idea. They look really cool, but like relative to what? It just doesn't work too well. And then we wanna have the portfolio. So obviously we wanna have your projects. I'd say have at least like, at least four projects on there. You can have less if you're just like starting out with your portfolio and building it, but like make sure you get up to four at least. I've got four, eight, 12. Uh, these are all my Team Treehouse projects. And I'm gonna start, when I rebuild it, I'm gonna throw some of the new websites I built on like uh, Red Rock. This is one I really like. The design's super simple. It's got this cool little parallax animation with the thing moving right here. And then this one parallax too as you scroll down. And then these have cool little hover animations. Something you could use, there's this uh, full page screen capture extension for Chrome. If you click that, it basically grabs a picture of a whole page. So you can use this as like a picture right here. 
instead of just having like the home page, like the, the top part, it gets the full page. So I'm gonna use that for pictures when I redesign it. But yeah, have some projects, make sure they're linked up and that people can actually go to them and interact with them. Cause it's really lame when they just have pictures of the projects and you can't do anything with it. You're, you just look at it and you're like, okay, I guess you built this. Um, so yeah, make sure there's a place they can go to to interact with it and see the project. Make sure you have it linked up on GitHub too. Don't just have it linked up on GitHub, have it hosted so they can go see it too. Because usually if somebody's looking at like hundreds of resumes a day and a couple different portfolios, they don't, they might download it and clone it and run it themselves. But you wanna make it as easy as possible for them to look at the project and kind of see what you've done. And then like inspect it and see if it's responsive and stuff. So yeah, with the projects, make sure they're linked up and hosted and make sure there's a link to the GitHub so they can go look at the code there if they want to. If you need some project ideas also, I'm gonna, in the description, I might have a link where you can sign up and I'll send you like one project a month. If it's not there yet, just come hop in the Discord. We talk about interviews and like some of the projects we've got for interviews and you can just use those or you can even just look at mine and use this as a mock-up and rebuild it that way too. And then last, you wanna have your contact me page. Um, gonna have your socials so they can check out your socials, link to your GitHub. If you wanna be a developer, I recommend making a YouTube channel because that just shows some more like initiative and that you're into it more. Plus, it's a good way to market yourself as a developer and network, make meet new people. I probably got like a hundred LinkedIn connections from having this. And then I made some new friends like Andrew and Mount or uh, Andrew and Edwin on Discord. So good way to connect with new people. Have your phone number, your email. Have like a like your actual email here. Don't just have like a logo of an email that you click on. If it's href like that, it pulls up the default web browser like Andrew's just got the image here if I click on that it pulls up the default web browser I don't use that um, I guess I could sign into Google and it default to that but I'm I'm too lazy for that I'd want to be able to just copy it go to Gmail and then paste it in there and send the email that way so have your actual email you could even have like the email link here and then your actual email next to it when you hover over it or something like this um, is about you know is contact me it's got email you hover over it it pulls up this one and you can just copy that or you can click here to open it in the browser but yeah those are the main sections you want to have um, basically your title your about me your skill section about me with a video because that'd be really cool help you help you stand out more um, portfolio with at least four projects more the better i guess and then your contact me and then you can also have your resume button i think andrew's got i might have to move my face so you can see it andrew's got like a little resume button over here so you can download his resume on your resume make sure everything's linked up too like make sure your portfolio is linked up make sure your github's linked up so it's easy as possible for them to get to the stuff back to the other side so uh, another thing, make sure it's responsive. Like if we go down to iPhone X and then we refresh, switch it to a static image. I don't use videos on mobile just because if they're on LTE, it can like eat through their data and it increases page load time if they're on like a slow cellular network. So that's why I don't use the video on mobile, but everything's responsive. So it's just like a one column layout. You can still go to the projects and then everything responds pretty good. Nowadays, if you've got a portfolio, it's gotta be responsive, nowadays. So yeah, that's pretty much what you've gotta have on your portfolio. Um, make sure you have your projects linked up, make sure you got your About Me video. Uh, let's see here. If you've got a blog, more points there. Um, I guess I could have like a a YouTube or like a video section where I have some of my YouTube videos that pop up 
that'd be kind of cool for my redesign. But yeah, if you have a blog, that's really cool. Um, definitely, if you want to be a developer, either have like a blog or a YouTube channel or something where you publish content and get your name out there because you're trying to sell yourself as a developer when you're trying to get a job. And that's just stuff like the blog, YouTube videos, that's stuff that helps you get your name out there, makes you look more credible, makes you look more like you know what you're doing. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, need any help, um, I do do portfolio reviews and resume reviews. I have my email in the description if you want me to give you some feedback on it. Uh, if you've liked the background music, this is one of my coworkers, uh, Biox. I think that's how you say it. But he's got some pretty cool music. I'll link to that if you want to check out the music here. Poison's NES is my favorite. If you want to come hang out in the Discord, like I said, we've been talking about Mountain and this guy have been getting a lot of interviews lately, so they've been talking about the projects they've done. So you can come get an, get an idea of what interviews are like, ask them questions. Andrew just recently got a job about a month ago. So get some wide ranges of experience and... I think that's about it. So I will see you next time. Peace.